Hmm. Couple of dandelions. I think I might just want a snack. There we go. Yummy. There's another one. Seems I got the stem and all, but that's okay. There we go, just take it off the stem. Mm, yummy. Give you good nutrition and vitamins and some energy out in the field. The dogs are pulling my arm, sorry. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, give you good energy and nutrients and stuff and, and a bit of pep on your trip. You eat a bit of that, a bit of this, a little, little bit of everything. Ciao. I told you they were pulling on me. Bang. <laughs> okay, let's get going then. Ciao. Here's some clover here too. Some clover. Who as a kid hasn't gone around eating a bunch of clover? Yeah, see? Just snack along the way. It may taste a little different, but you know, to, to what we call traditional food, but hey, gives you a lot of energy, gives you vitamins, nutrients, everything you really need, and and it can uh, energize you a bit as you're if you're tired on your trails. So just snack on this and that as you go. Okay, quit pulling, girls. Quit pulling. <laughs> oh boy. All right, ciao for now. And here we have some narrow leaf plantain. That's beginning to flower. It's beginning to flower. Let's take a step back here. Yeah, beginning to flower, get off there. So this is the uh, narrow leaf here. That's a leaf here. You can just eat the leaf if you want to. You can eat the leaves if you want to. Or put them in salad. I like to saute them for, and do them that way. <laughs> monkey's always in the way but this is what I wanted to show you is the flower heads on the plantain these things you've seen these everywhere and some of them get really really long and get a couple of inches long and they have all the seeds on it this is just flowering now the seeds will grow this will grow longer and the seeds will grow out as it gets bigger but these two these two here you can just eat as well just eat, you can eat the whole plant roots and everything we eat those and uh, they're really good but when they get longer and the seeds get bigger um, you get a whole bunch of those and you saute them in butter in a frying pan with salt and pepper and garlic and stuff really good really good stuff all right so that's narrow leaf much the same as broadleaf plantain only narrow <laughs> anyway just another thing to snack on out here ciao for now here's some more of this plantain there's tons of this everywhere right now, just tons of it. Right now, whoa, we're there. There we go. There we go, tons of this stuff everywhere right now. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Just another pick-me-up. <laughs> another snack along the road. Okay, let's move on, ciao. And here's a dandelion head that has not opened up yet. Not quite opened up yet. So, we eat the dandelion heads too. There we go. Not the best tasting stuff in the world, but keep you healthy, keep you going. Ciao for now. And here's, of course, one of my favorites again stinging nettle. What I do is I take those tops, just the fresh little tops here, and you squish them between your fingers till they get juicy or something. And then, then you just eat them. There's no sting whatsoever. So here we go. Pick it off there. Just roll it up in your fingers until it gets a bit juicy. 
squish everything up, everything up into juiciness. I don't even just eat them. <laughs> the light's bad here, eh? Anyway, good thing I always bring a little bag with me somehow, because I'm going to, so, or usually, because I'm going to pick a bunch of these and take them home as well. So, ciao for now. It's raining while we're out on our walkabout, and <laughs> somebody got really wet. Look at those skinny little legs. Look at those skinny little legs again. Look at them. Look at them. Go see your mother. Go see your mother. Go see your mother. Okay, never mind. Look at those skinny little legs. <laughs> okay, ciao for now. Okay, we are back now. You can hear the generator running because I got the lights on in here. <laughs> and I'm charging my phone. But anyway, um, we you saw me out foraging and that, walking, taking the dogs for a walk and then just snacking on the wild edibles as I go. And then uh, on the way out, I was uh, decided to pick a few things here. Like I mentioned, I was going to grab the stinging nettle here. This is a stinging nettle here. You see these little, just these little tiny tops, eh? Just these tops. I never got stung once yesterday. Or <laughs> earlier today, I should say. Man, my brain is off. So you just, yeah, just roll them up like this. Squeeze them until they're kind of juicy. And they can't sting you anymore at all. You just take them <laughs> like that, all squished up. And you eat them. And they're super healthy. Great snack for traveling on, you know, going on a hike or anything, walking through the wilderness, whatever, wherever you can find them. But what we're going to do is on the way out of the out of our walk there, I decided, other than the stinging nettle, I'd grab a couple other things. I got some more dandelion leaf there. That's really super healthy for you. And I got, uh, this is broadleaf plantain. Broadleaf plantain here. It's just like the narrow leaf plantain, but uh, it's wide and broad like that. And here's this. One thing you might want to try though, if you're eating this stuff, is those fibers there, it's really fibrous. So what you do is you just grab those fibers like that, and then you pull them, pull them back, and you can pull them right out of the, right out of the leaf there if you don't want too much fibrous material in the leaf. But for me, I don't really care. I just want the nutrition and uh, stuff in my body, so I stay healthy in that. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop all this. We're going to leave those like that. They're fine. We're going to chop that up a little bit. Chop that up a little bit. And on top of that, I don't know why I didn't think of it, but I could have actually grabbed uh, some of the clover flowers and thrown into this too, and I just didn't think of it for some reason. But with uh, each one of these things, I got more than enough nutrition there. Like They're super, super packed with nutrition. They are superfoods, each in their own right. And then the three of them together, I just got a, a mass of superfoods. This isn't a, a lot of vegetable there, but... The nutrition you get out of this small amount of vegetable is amazing. So what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to chop up these and these. And we're going to throw um, all of it into the pan, saute it down. And then we're going to throw them into an omelet, okay? So let's get on with that. Ciao. Alright, so the stinging nettle is over there. I've got the dandelion leaf and the plantain here. And I'm just going to put it all together in one. On the cutting board here. And just give it a little snip here, just to chop it into nice little pieces so it spreads well and I don't have to chew it all up <laughs> necessarily. There we go, all chopped up and ready to go. And I'm just going to mix that in with the stinging nettle like that, just like that. And there we are. Now we can uh, cook up our eggs. How for now?
Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Kent's Kitchen and another episode of Cooking with Kent. So, I've got some butter melted in here, hot and melted. It's pretty warm enough now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to saute these veggies just a little bit. Just to break down the uh, vegetable matter and make it soft and more easily digestible. And uh, it'll be good. So there we go. That's enough. <laughs> That's enough. So yeah, we'll just saute these down for a minute or two. Get them really softened up and kind of cook down. Just like you would do with any other vegetables you buy in the store or whatever. A lot of them you have to cook down a bit anyway. So you can eat them raw like I showed you as I was out in my walk. Just eat them raw. It's no problem and you stay healthy that way too. But here we go. It doesn't really need much. It doesn't need much at all. I don't know if you can hear them sizzling, but they just get them a, a little bit of a sizzle, roll them over a bit, and get them all softened up. And uh, like I say, just like you would do any other vegetable. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shove those all in this corner here. I'm going to turn this down a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. We're going to add more butter. I'm going to add more butter. Mix that around a bit. For the eggs. Stops them from sticking it mostly and uh, also I like butter because it gives extra flavor. Anyway, so that's melted down there. It's cooking pretty good. It's steaming. Sizzling I should say. Put the eggs in here. There we go. cooking pretty good though. Nice temperature. So basically what we're going to do is I'll put all that grain on top of the egg there. Doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't know if you can see it there. Put the grain on top. Just going to add a little salt. And obviously a little pepper. And if I had a thought of it again, I would have chopped up a tiny bit of garlic. But I just didn't feel like it today. I didn't feel like garlic this morning. I gotta go out and talk to people, so I'd rather not be all garlicky. And then also I think I'll throw in just a tad of uh, garam masala. And I think with this one, I'm going to do one tiny drop of, uh, or two tiny drops of uh, toasted sesame oil. Uh, oh, that's three big drops. <laughs> anyway, that'll be fine. So now what we do, we just slide it over there. It's pretty much cooked almost. So I just folded it over like that. Fold it over, I bring it back, let all the egg run out. So it'll cook in the pan and we can fold that over as well. Let me get the bowl out of the way. There we go. That's what it looks like there. Now, slide it back this way. Fold that over that way. Fold this over that way. I'm going to throw a little more pepper on there. I like to put pepper on all sides if I can. A little pepper on there. And then I'm going to fold it right over again. Boom. So it cooks evenly everywhere, all through and everything. 
a little more pepper obviously and like I say the only thing to make this any better would be a little garlic <laughs> there we go that's pretty much done now bring the bowl back up that I smash the eggs in and give it another flip a little warmth turn the heat off because it doesn't need it anymore and there we go beautiful little omelette beautiful little omelette look at that isn't that gorgeous isn't that gorgeous mm -hmm. so a little more pepper on there as well I just love pepper I don't make it really hot or anything just flavorful there we go now I'm gonna chop that a little bit let some of the steam out let it cool down a bit and mix in the pepper a bit and there we go let that cool down for about two minutes or so and we have a delicious delicious super super healthy omelet there so there we go here's a bit of leftover green <laughs> so there we go that's another episode of cooking with kent or kent's kitchen and cooking with kent thank you very much for watching and uh, let's go eat this thing okay ciao for now so there we go we have another delicious omelet here made with wild forage greens wild forage greens that cost you nothing and they're super super healthy so this is one of the healthiest meals you can have you got tons of protein and tons and tons of nutritional greens in it so here we go mm -hmm. very good tastes very much like a spinach omelet or something mm. and that toasted sesame oil just adds this beautiful, beautiful exotic flavor to it. Really smoky exotic flavor. It's really good. Mmm. Wow, that's great. Mmm. And the girls were playing like crazy since uh, 7 o'clock this morning, and now they're all flaked out. <laughs> but this omelet is really good. It's really super healthy. Mmm. And that's uh, basically how you live off your land kind of thing. Mm. Mm. That is really good. I'm going to enjoy this. Anyway, thanks again for uh, hanging out at Kent's Kitchen and another episode of Cooking with Kent. Hope you enjoy. Ciao for now. Bon appétit. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.